Hello, Eric. Uh, nice to meet you in cyberspace. And uh, this will be some video feedback for you on Milestone 1. Eric, uh, this is what I see as your submission. And it's I'm glad you uh, included each of the uh, high-res images. This means that when I open up the um, Magazine Rough in Illustrator, I will be able to find out. Sorry, this is this is Jeremy's. Eric, uh, you've, you've got, you know, all the ingredients uh, prepared. Um, I think your basic concept is, is really good. Um, I just think it's going to take some refinement. What I would suggest is, uh, first of all, you know, bleeding the photos off the sides and the top and having them butt up to each other. Um, and so, you know, I, I know that for this project, you needed to demonstrate that you could have a layer with a solid color. But um, maybe just apply the color to the type uh, rather than the background. So you would have, you know, the snowy image at the top here, uh, the beach image, which still looks kind of cold to me, but I, I appreciate that it's your image um, at the bottom here. Uh, I know that uh, this lockup, you know, in the in the purple rectangle is one of Amethyst Bay's visual assets, but I think it, this would look better if, if the logo were just floating over the uh, ocean or the beach scene and without the, uh, the the purple box. Hope that makes sense. And <clears throat> I think, you know, your approach is direct. Um, it's a little pro prosaic, perhaps. I, I, you're using Arial, which is the corporate typeface, and that's correct. Uh, perhaps give it a little more generous uh, margins. See if you can simplify this, the verbiage on this. Um, you know, I don't know, escape, escape cold or something, you know, uh, something that's memorable and perhaps uh, a little less wordy. Then I, I like these uh, marked down uh, uh, vac vacations, and uh, I think that's, you know, really appealing for families. Um, and I, I like, too, that this beach ball sort of unites both of them. Um, it's a little grayish brown at the bottom here, the shadow, so maybe if you can neutralize the shadow somehow, you know, in Photoshop on that. Um, think about, um, you know, maybe one or two vertical axes on which you can hang type, um, and perhaps the logo. And um, think about the rule of thirds. You know, I, I keep forgetting about that, but if you have a digital camera, and I think there's an option to turn on grid, the idea is that if you, there, there are sort of four focal points, uh, if, you, if you have a simple grid of two axes, uh, vertical, two axes, horizontal, and the idea, and it, it, this is used in videography, um, but it's ap applicable to two-dimensional design in general. Idea is that at each of the convergent points of those two ac uh, two axes, four axes actually, um, is a focal point, and you can anyway use those axes to align type uh, and images. Um, just a suggestion, you, you know, if you had a loss on how to organize your stuff. Anyway, I like the beach ball that it unites both the cold image and the beach scene. So, you know, I'd capitalize on that, and it's an interesting silhouette. Um, smaller type, too. You don't need to make this big. Start thinking about dummy copy that would have a dummy URL, um, phone number, perhaps, and so forth, just to make your ad as convincing as possible. Eric, uh, here, I've opened up your file in Illustrator, and I see that you've created a layer for each, for everything. Now, I'm not seeing um, your images, and the reason for that is, let's see, I don't think I'm seeing your images. They're gray boxes. Uh, is because, oh, well, you've done the correct thing. You have uh, provided them um, in a, a folder, um, and I, I, will, I could link to them by just going to the libraries and linking them. I'm not going to do that because I don't have that much space uh, uh, to download everything. I just wanted to note on the structure of your file. Uh, you could, however, try to find a way that you can embed your images in the file to make a self-contained Illustrator file. Um, but in any case, moving forward, you know, this creates memory problems for, for you and me. <laughs> um, and if, if you're going to a professional um, 
service bureau, like a Kinkos or something, you've done exactly the right thing and you've included your high res files uh, in a folder that they can use to link. So good going on that. Always provide a PDF though, um, so that if they are missing something, uh, the service bureau can identify what that is. Eric, I think I'm going to leave it here. Um, you have all the right ideas. You've got, uh, technically, you know, you've learned a silhouette. You've put, learned to put things on their own layer. Uh, you know what non-destructive image editing is. I think it just takes some, you know, s sketching perhaps. Um, one of the, I think, rubric prompts that often gets overlooked for last week, or this week it is maybe, uh, is to have um, some screenshots of your various compositions. You know, when you sketch on the computer, it's hard to keep a record uh, of your process. And um, so I recommend, you know, taking uh, random screenshots or, and, or you know, making JPEGs of them, just so you have a, a little digital sketchbook of your pro process. At the end of the class two, you'll be in a couple of weeks, you'll be asked to write a reflection and use some of those uh, screenshots to document uh, some of the hurdles, perhaps, that you have overcome in the class, uh, it'll be helpful just to be mindful of uh, keeping a record of your progress. Good job. I look forward to seeing uh, what your animation looks like.